Hello everybody, my name is Cats Games. Welcome back to Chinatown Wars. Yes, another episode that's not in a fucking three weeks time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm excited to jump right back into this game because it's a short game. Uh, apparently it says I only played an hour and 25 minutes of this game, even though I did three episodes and each part I pretty much record for an hour, so it's kind of weird. Anyways, another thing I wanted to say, holy shit. My new CPU is coming in handy right now with these Let's Plays because not only is the recording process easier, I mean, it was always, it wasn't about it, this is a fucking emulator game, but let's say games in the future, like, I can record pretty much any game now. But also, editing is so smooth, like, the video doesn't stutter when I play it in the fucking project and shit, and I can just f r edit these so fast. Before it used to take forever because you constantly crash, the whole video was just laggy and it was just an awful experience and it just made me not want to do episodes because it's like I can record these no problem but it's just the editing process if I had an editor man I pump out a video every day I swear uh but no I have to edit myself so that takes a lot of time and also the rendering process like the video renders half like what it used to so that's amazing so yeah, basically what i'm saying is uh these videos take a lot of effort so please leave a like if you're enjoying this let's play Right, <clears throat> we got two emails now from Zhu. Um, great news, Wang, you managed to save enough stash cards for us to make a tidy sum today. As any fool would have anticipated, Sheen has expressed some displeasure with us meddling with his plans. Fear not, I'm very capable. I find ignorance and cut him into the profits. And uh, actually, this is the only impact. This will only impact your slice of the take as it was my idea and ideas don't grow on trees. What a cunt. Woo, Kenny Lee. Who is that? Oh, that's the old man. Uh, nephew, how are you? I'm struggling. Your aunt is giving me hell. She accuses me of being a power crazed sex maniac. She understands so little about men. Anyways, I'm closing the deal on that property in East Island City. Have you raised the money we need? Of course. Uh, 5000 to the warehouse as soon as you can. Uncle Kenny. That's definitely where we're gonna go first. Wait, this place seems familiar. Is this the mission I was actually stuck on? Like, the mini-map seems really, really familiar. This might be the mission I didn't get past on my playthrough on my DS. It might be. I'm not gonna say it is, but it might be. I'm not too sure, though. Dumpster. I love how you can dumpster dive in this game. It's so funny. And a Mac. That's great. Um, I should have bought some guns. I'm a fucking idiot. Anyways. Sharpay dime. Thank you, nephew. I couldn't have bought this place without you. I? I thought it was for us. Liz, I meant we. I, I wrote my name on the deeds purely for tax purposes. Of course. Anyways, I'm glad I could help. Any news on my father's killer? Or that city sword? Yu Jian? Possibly. A wealthy buyer of expensive stolen artifices visiting the city. Do you think he might be here to buy the sword? It is possible. And though some say it's dishonorable to attack lone travelers, I say a rich fool can be the cause of much mischief. That's brilliant, uncle. I if the life of crime thing goes wrong, you should take up script writing. I've always had a way with words. Huang, it's our noble duty to separate such fools from their money. Is that it? Intercepted dealer's van. Cool. This might be not the mission, but this area seems very familiar. Maybe it was another mission that starts here. I'm not too sure. I'm not going to say shit. But that's cool if I get past the fucking, like, in Sleeping Dogs, I had the same exact thing where I had the game on 360. I played the shit out of it. And then I just couldn't get past this hacking part. And I pretty much couldn't never complete the game. I wasn't much of a completionist back in the day anyway, so I'd probably fucking ditch it at some point. I was more of a play a game, get bored, never play it again guy. Because I had like 50 games on the 360 back in the day, so, you know. Oh, I just drove over cop, didn't get a wanted level, cool. First of all, to stop without destroying it. Well, I'll try my best. If the cops get out my fucking way... I'll just bump into him a few times. Steal the van. Fuck you, cunts! Hey, dude, they, they drop guns. Let's go. <laughs> Don't need to buy any ammo. Because uh, I know, like, ammo, like, was such a problem in, like, GTA 3 and, like, the old games. I'm yet to play Vice City, by the way. 
I don't know if I should make a let's play on it, but definitely Vi Vice City Stories and Liberty City Stories. And I might do like Ballad of Gay Tony and Lost and Damned again, because I, I played those games like, uh, I can't even tell you, 10 years ago maybe? Nine, eight? So it'd be dope to revisit those games because I can't really remember how the story goes and stuff. And they're pretty short, I believe. They're like six hours each. Is this it? All right, let's see. All right, we're cutting up the sides of the door. There's drugs in them. Oh, okay, just a notebook. No sword, but a ledger? Okay. <laughs> The upscaling fucks up the text a bit. I don't know if you guys realized. Ammunition, new item stock, shotgun, flashbang armor, don't care. Kenny, nephew, I hope you're relaxed and enjoying yourself in this fine city. I'm sick w with worry for the future of my family, but I don't mean to worry you. It appears that the rich fool you hijacked used to own an apartment in Lan Lancas Lanchester, whatever, Lanchester. I found the keys in his van with him now out of business perhaps you should make use of it i'm really feeling the expense of pulling you up in that first place and not being exactly far with the rent have you so we get a new apartment okay <laughs> i thought that's just gonna teleport me okay animals filth scum they know nothing of honor or n nobility all they do is steal and kill and prance about like girls what kind of real man dances? Uncle, these animals could be the ones who stole you, Jang. I'm sure they've been behind most of the tax on us since its loss. Even though they're preparing to sell businesses, they are under my protection. Heathens. What are you talking about? Who? Those moronic Spanish lords uphold my good name, Huang. Slaughter them all. For the love of your family and all that is holy. We're just gonna kill a bunch of fucking Spanish people. Okay. Go to this. Oh, there's armor here. Go to the store before the Spanish Lords. Gotcha. I'm sick and tired of this fucking radio. How do I change radio? There you go. Holy shit, that's a lot of dead people. Use vehicles to barricade both ends of the city before the Spanish Lords arrive. Park these in the. Okay. Best driver, man. That should be fine, right? Does it actually have to be very precise? And then it triggers the cutscene. Fuck, I'm gonna get this fucking truck. When in a vehicle to recenter your camera. Okay, barricades are complete. Exit your vehicle. Spanish lords have arrived. Defend the store. <laughs> Immediately dead. Because the barricades do do something. Sup, bitches? Hola, por favor. Amigo. Leave. Chincados, bro. Are approaching the south. Take them out. Uh, can I get my pistols, please? Nice. Oh shit, something's on fire? No? I thought something was on fire there. Get rid of the remaining Spanish lords. Hello? Jeez, again he got set on fire. Oh, because he had a Molotov, that's why. 50 bucks for that? I just risked my whole entire life. Chan, woman. So this is the race car guy. Huang, being kidnapped never brings out the best in me. I was angry when I blamed you. But let's put it behind us. For friendship's sake. My therapist told me to apologize, so I will. I'm sorry. I'll be at my penthouse in East Holland. See you there? We can hang out and have fun and play beach volleyball together and make a montage video and set it to... Uh, music and stuff, just like in the movies. I always do this with my friends, which may be why I haven't got many, but because I always look better than them in the videos. Yours truly, Chang Huami. Okay, we got Mel, which is the reporter girl. Huang, hey, superstar. 
Isn't reality news a great concept? Things are moving fast here. I'm cutting a deal with Channel 15, but I need some more footage if my show's gonna hit the airwaves successfully. No one likes boring news. They want action, blood, drama, nightmares, the whole package. Make everyone happy. Insurance companies, uh, gun sellers, all the sponsors. Chan told me he's got a new drug that needs uh, road testing, so I volunteered you. Uh, don't worry, you won't be taking it. Just helping with marketing. We're supposed to meet one of the chance men at the corpse ride down in Firefly Island. See you there. Again, she's using me. What am I gonna get? I'm not gonna get head from this. Uh, Zhu, uh, Huang, after all I've done for Xing, he still fails to favor me as his replacement. His wisdom must be receding faster than his hairline. Whoa. Hold up. <laughs> We must do something about this. His idiosity in his hair. I cannot perform miracles yet. I tried walking the water the other day. One day. All right. Three new missions, pretty much. That's dope, I guess. Driven to destruction. Even though we have disciplined the leaders who insult the Chin with their disrespect, for just to be truly done, they must be taught a more serious lesson. But that lesson be next time you're reincarnated, get life insurance? Something like that. I asked them if they wanted to cut me in. And they refused. And trend to run to Sheen and start bitching and moaning like women. So the fuckers are going to have to be shut. Alright, kill a bunch of people again, yes? Not this truck, man. Fucking slowest vehicle, bro. Drive close to any dealer you see so she can heal, kill him. Okay. Carnage, Peter, on the top left. Nice. Can I just run them over? He literally cuts them in half. Holy fucking shit. He has a minigun. Holy shit. I forgot there's a minigun in this game. I believe there's a place you can actually find, like, the minigun. I think it's on one of the islands, I believe. It's literally cutting them in half. Holy shit. Alright. Let's go to the next group of dealers. <clears throat> Holy shit. Look at this shit, this is carnage. Literally. Come on, shoot them, they're in front of you. Damn. Alright, next group, let's go. They really sold this game on fucking DS. I bet you, I bet you, like, maybe they censored it as well. Wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo censored this game, but it, it was like 18 plus, I believe, on the, on the cover box. When I had the game. There you go. Find another group of dealers to attack. Alright, just shoot the bin, cool. <laughs> we just shooting the bin for like 30 seconds there. Well, not 30 seconds, I'm over-exaggerating. Damn, this mission's awesome. I wish I was the one doing the killing, but okay. Maybe in a future mission, I don't know. Watch out for more dealers looking for revenge. Well, my car is smoking. So hopefully, we're not gonna end up dead. Oh shit, it's smoking. Oh god, it's on fire. Oh no, the mission's gonna fail. Fuck. There you go. <laughs> if your health reaches zero, you will pass out and be taken to the nearest hospital for treatment. Before you discharge, hospital will bill you. You can heal yourself by collecting. Yes, but I couldn't do shit there, bro, because it was a car. Halt to restart. Oh, okay. 
I don't actually have to drive there now, but I still have to do the whole mission again, so there was no checkpoint. And the car's smoking already, I believe. Or not? Slightly. This time, since it's smoking, I'm gonna go to a pain spray and fix it up. I should have done that last time, however... I didn't know it was available during a mission, so... Yeah, now it's green. Let's go. Shoot him. Alright. Did that mission again? Yet again, I have delivered Shin's justice like an avenging angel or indomitable god. What are these words they're using? Or something else, a bit like that. But as usual, I get treated like a fucking butler. Your humility is awe inspiring. Indeed, I have inspired myself. I've grown tired of looking for favors from chumps. I will be the next leader of the triad, with or without Sheen's approval. It's only a matter of time. That must be some good coke. Stalking <laughs> out of his ass. You must be on coke. The auto merchant in Baba has a new import in stock. Why would I care? I will always check these dumpsters. I'm such a stingy motherfucker. And look, I got downers. I can get some more money. Since we're pretty much... We only got 2k because we spent 5k on that um, garage. What is this? I forgot how you actually like get these vans. Whatever. I don't care. So do I have a new apartment now? Because that's what our uncle said. That we have a new apartment, right? Or no? Can I actually zoom out on this map? I don't think I can. Oh, we do. It's right here. Let's go check it out. There's a mission here anyways, but there seems to be coke right here or whatever the fuck that is I can buy. It's a good deal. Something I wanted Rockstar to do is get this game into 3D. Or they don't even have to get it into 3D. Remaster this game. Remaster Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories. Put it out as a fucking trilogy. Did you know? That'd be so fucking dope. Hold on, is this... This looks like the apartment that you had in GTA 3, if I'm not wrong. I don't think the interior changed in any way. Oh no, it did. Damn. This game's so cool. For its time. Like, they could have just been so lazy with this game, but they actually put effort into this game. That's rock... That's the rock star that we're missing these days. Love was put into this game. I miss, I miss when they fucking made games. Like, they just made games. They didn't make like, oh, let's make a game and get the most money out of it. Because that's literally the fucking developer mentality now. Make a game, don't put no love into it, just whatever gets you cash the fastest. I want to take the Infernos, please, please, bro. All right, I got it. All right, next stop, drug dealer. <laughs> I can't believe I say this shit. I love how the game also shows you like near misses. And like, it doesn't reward you for near misses. That's a camera up there. This guy, this is gonna be a boss. Watch this. So well, I came here and I'm gonna lose money if I buy acid. I got these downers though. They're 30 bucks. Time to roll out dog one. Well, there's a camera up there. They just saw us do a drug deal. Wouldn't that give, wouldn't that actually like, bring the cops here i don't know okay uh time to do chin because it's the closest one mel is like 50 kilometers away so i'm not even gonna bother well i'm still gonna do her mission but just not now all right sheen my brother i missed you you're always getting kidnapped or some shit the tongues are going to be impressed i've managed to set up a deal with a rough crew who have been a triad enemy for years those people want peace, Huang, and I'm the one who's gonna broker it. Maybe they just want a piece of you. Huang, you wanna take the old chili pill, man? Have a drink, get mellow, partner. A great leader knows when to take advantage of opportunity. When to forgive and when to forget. And Amara doesn't know when to say no. Absolutely. What was I saying? Oh damn, we're getting fans, she cares. This isn't what we arranged, what the fuck's going on? 
Don't these people know who I am? It's a set up. We're getting jumped, genius. Stay with me. Is that a bazooka? Holy fuck. I'm gonna fucking take that. You better drop that shit. <laughs> Okay, the bazooka just disappeared. I think he got killed, actually. Nice, I can definitely see the enemy. Oh, he dropped an AK. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm almost dead. I'm dead? No, Chan's dead and I'm dead. Oh my god, how? What do you want me to do, game? What do you want me to do, man? Gotta do that whole mission again. This is an unfortunate episode. Two missions fail. God damn. Is this gonna turn into San Andreas? At least these missions are like five minutes long, so it's not really that bad. Compared to San Andreas having missions that literally took 20 minutes. Like the chasing after the fucking train one. And then you have to like, just go to my main channel and watch that let's play. The amount of times I've failed missions is ridiculous. I can actually jump over that. This place looks familiar. What? I died again? That easily? Is there any health at all? This is a hospital here. And I'm dead again. What a joke, bro. Full health. Almost full health. And he just... One clip and I'm dead. Can we just get in cars? Let me just try getting in a car and driving past. Maybe that's what I had to do the entire time. Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. And I got literally killed right before the fucking club. Fuck's sake, man. This asshole set me up. I just can't believe it. If the tongues find out about this, I'm going to be a laughing stock. It's the cops. Holy shit. What are these cars? Freeze. Heston. Oh, of course, a fed. Huang Li, Mr. Junior, triad of the year. We've been watching you, little man. You've certainly been enjoying yourself in our fair city. Let's be honest. It's not as much as it used to be. Now book me or shoot me. Don't bore me. Well, I'd happily shoot you, you little prick. But my guess is, until you've been found, uh, you found your uncle's sword and your father's killer, you don't want to get shot. That's right, Huang. I know all about the ambush, and I'm real interested about guys that did it. I've been on their tails for a long time. Sorry, can help you. Don't speak much English. Let's not waste each other's time. We both know you're gonna work for me. Work for a cop? Cop? Don't patronize me. I'm an undercover detective. Wade Hessens, the name. You and I ain't all different, Huang. We're both businessmen looking to turn a profit. You do it your way, I do it mine. Do as you're told and we'll both profit from this. I'm part of the criminal process. I'll be in touch. Okay, we're working for a Fed. There's always a Fed in every fucking GTA game. Yo, we're right across CJ's place right now. What are these vans? Like, look, you have the diner there on the left. Then on the left, you have the pubs now. And then this should be Nico's apartment around here. That's dope. Listen, Chan just came into possession of a fuckload of new shit. It's highly addictive and more toxic than the cumbald at high tide. So don't be surprised if you get chased around by street crazy screaming for more. People love it. It makes them pent up, angry, horny, and, and insanely irritable. 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 It's America. Uh, toss some of this shit out. Heavy users, junkies, and crack whores and see what sticks. Enjoy. 
highly addictive and toxic nice this is the stuff you're gonna market to unsuspected people it's their choice i'm not going to force it on anyone choice you're aiming it at crack whores and junkies seriously does any of this bother you well i'm a murderer a uh, drug uh, pushing hypocrite who's got pulled off his own path of revenge by the lure of easy cash and i'm currently pushing a deadly new drug so i can help you break it on the broadcast news why should that bother me i don't know i was just wondering i'll grab my camera stupid bitch fuck off get in the van drive to the legal marine store melanin in its footage okay come on huang i'm not gonna make my deadline throwing out drugs in the view of code will earn you a wanted level okay come down you get your footage do I want to throw it now? Uh, throw drug samples the same way that you throw Molotov by holding L and using them to aim. Okay. Here we are, crackheads and junkies ahead. Okay, smile for the camera. They can't get enough of that poison. Oh shit, they're going nuts. Get us out of here. What kind of drug is this? Don't let me down. I'm gonna get money shots. Okay, is the news is this news or porn? I can't read this while driving. So you guys just read that yourselves. I don't even know what it says. Alright, here we go. Drugs fiends approaching. My god, this is insane. I love breaking this story. I love it. No one films a dying junkie foaming from the mouth. Yeah, eat this, you cunts. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Actually, no. You don't need to. There's even more here. I'm on fire, by the way. Hey, I'm walking here. Head back to the... Oh, shit. They want more. I gotta go get her. And she's dead. Is she dead? She's dead, man. Fuck this game. Fuck, it's starting to piss me off, and I'm dead now. Alright, as you can see, there's armor on the left, and I think they specifically put it there. Just for this mission. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go pick it up if it fucking lets me. Hello? Let me control, please. I'm gonna pick up this armor. Can I actually just throw it out the car? Okay, so instead of doing it this way, I should do it from the top to the bottom. Now get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay. <laughs> so I just did everything wrong, yeah? Head over and give out more samples. Oh, jeez, the mission's not over. Addiction, find a group of users. Okay, there's an addiction meter. My framing is perfect. God damn, I'm good. Okay. All right, this area has been cleared. Now can I go? Take my lane back to the corpse ride. Well, that was different. I'm glad you had fun. Fun? Only a greedy, self-centered sociopath would think that was fun. Exactly. How dare you? There's no comparison between us, you maniac. 
You're destroying decent society for respectable people. My job, my calling is to show your kind up as monsters. Gaining fame, fortune, winning awards, and having fun while you're doing it. Fuck you, killer. I'll fucking show you. Damn. Feisty little thing. I got five coke. <laughs> nice. Anyways, we're 17% done with the game. Thank you guys so much for watching episode whatever four, I think this is, of Chinatown Wars. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.